delivery complete. Let's go get our reload. Now we're on Highway 303, brand new highway. And I just found out that I don't know which Transformer movie that it was, but somewhere along here on this highway, while it was being built, I was told, because uh, some one of the guys where I delivered lives up here in this area and said that they filmed the movie Transformers up here. I couldn't tell you which one, but heh, who knew? Let's get this day started. Oops. Well, we're here at some undisclosed location in Warehouse Alley. Highway 303 north and south is over that way about four miles or three miles or something like that. But this is uh, just a boat load and over there by that water tower is Luke Air Force Base. We're sort of up in Surprise, Arizona's up that way. Glendale, Peoria is back that way. We're grabbing a load that's going up to the Denver area, somewhere up there. Uh, if everything goes right today, we get loaded. We hopefully should be able to make it up somewhere south of Pueblo, Colorado today. Uh, it's about a 13 and a half hour drive. I got 10 and a half to go. So depending on what New Mexico does with me, they're not no no that's where all those wrecks and all that stuff was yesterday um yeah hi guys but uh yeah that's where all the um carnage was there on 40 in um new mexico well we got to go right back through that get on 25 out of albuquerque <sighs> keep our fingers crossed I'm not a big fan of rolling through Nebraska or uh, New Mexico. Nothing against the people of New Mexico, but traffic leaves a lot to be desired. So, but I'm going to get back in. It's starting to warm up a little bit here. It's kind of quiet, seeing how we're right next to Luke Air Force back there. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can't get Raton Pass today in the daylight. And roll along upside the uh, on 25. See what we can see. All right, everyone. Trinidad, all of that up there, kind of those old uh, mining towns. So, all right, everyone. On that, God bless. Love you guys. And as always, thanks for coming along. Let's go get a day. I think it's only about 85, 87, something like that. So, not too bad. Not real windy today either.
Good night, everybody. Woo. Oh, how we doing, everybody? <laughs> what a day. Oh, well, we were just short of 700. Something like 695. Please forgive me. We're about 30, 31 miles south of Raton Pass up on the border. So we're still sitting here at a rest area here in New Mexico, just south of the Colorado border. We'll get up there tomorrow. I don't know how, or I don't know how they order these, you know, these brokered loads. I'll be there tomorrow, but I don't have a delivery until Thursday. So we're gonna see what, if I'm just sitting in Denver area, um, yeah. But all in all, we had a good day. We got unloaded down there in Phoenix and reloaded in uh, somewhere over there by that Luke Air Force Base. And then uh, scooted up on out of there. It was a warm one. I had to turn, I had to turn my heat. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I know it kind of sucks when it's really hot. But you know, you don't run your AC. Okay, that much we know. Let me lean in here, get a little more, I don't know if that helps or gives more shadow. The shadow knows. Uh, we'll just do this. We'll just hold it. But if you're running kind of warm in your vehicle, If you roll your windows down, that's key. And then turn the heat on. It'll actually draw. I found when I was running the heater and had my side, you know, had my windows down, uh, I would stay around 180 to 190. But as soon as I would turn the heat off not really put AC on not not on full bore just just a little bit um, all of a sudden I could watch my temperatures climb up over 200 so it's just one of those kind of days so just a little technique a little so you don't overheat and boil over um, that's something you don't want to do um, but yeah that's just a little trick run your Run your uh, heater, draw the heat off the motor, hit the cycle where it circulates. Um, I believe that's the setting. All I know is when I run my heater, it draws the heat right off the engine and cools things down. Then I just gotta watch my axles and everything. So, But anyway, um, Robert left a comment about how, because he can be well, we're just, how do you say it, without it sounding kind of rude, because it's not. I really respect Robert, and uh, but he's just a man of few words, and just, you know, um, the older you get, you just kind of speak your mind, because your BS meter's full. But he was making a comment about how there wasn't comments have been tailing off and I was just letting him know that well quite frankly a lot of you guys don't leave comments you know for one reason or another it's not an indictment or anything like that but this channel's never it's never harnessed you know a ton of comments anyway but if you really look at it on some like no well, there there's some channels that I see that got like 60 70 80 100 you know 100,000 subscribers but if you look at their comments versus how many subscribers they have it, the numbers don't they don't match up they don't line up so 
it's kind of a weird I don't know if, if since I'm holding the phone it's a little more jiggly there but um, their percentage is way low of people that actually leave a comment I don't know if it's just people that are you know they want to be on social media but we live in an age where they're monitoring every little thing you do I mean you swipe your debit card or a credit card at the grocery store they know where you shop they know what you buy they know how often you buy I mean so I'm just the cat that just like I don't care so I'm just gonna do whatever I want they're 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 following you anyway they're monitoring you on everything so at that point I'm gonna be me so cancel away works good for me so but on that if you want if you so choose please leave a comment tell me what you think um, but we're gonna roll this night up it's uh, uh, it's about quarter after 11 Central Standard Time so we'll get back on the road around 8 8, eight o'clock in the morning we we'll get up there because if even though I don't deliver, Denver's kind of one of those weird, it's like, it's almost like Texas, down into Dallas, Fort Worth, where you could go in at 9, 9.30 in the morning, think you're going to get a parking spot, so, so sorry, there won't be a parking spot available, because people just haven't moved, and Denver's kind of that same way, a little bit, unless, of course, I go to the TA, then if I pay for parking, then that's a whole other story. But like the flying hook over in Aurora, now I haven't been over there in a long while, but um, it just is what it is. But I'm going somewhere just north of 70, so um, yeah. All right, everyone, on that, God bless. Love you guys. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for leaving a comment if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you get these uploads whenever they come out. On that, God bless. Love you guys. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow in Colorado.